Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This, this isn't it. Look at this, what, like, what? I don't know if we can save this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome in general. Introduce yourself down below, or describe your week only using one word. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but today we are back and we are testing out some more beauty hacks or tips and tricks and things that I have found over the internet over the internet, like over the rainbow. Most of them I found on TikTok because if you don't already know this by now, that's where I live my life. Not proud of it, but here we are. But all of these looked really, really interesting and so I wanted to test them out with you and just see what all the fuss is about, what the hype is about, and if it's actually worth doing. So make sure you give this a thumbs up if you enjoy beauty hacks and we wanna do more of these in the future. And now let's zoom in to what might be the most complex, I guess foundation, face routine that I have ever seen. But apparently it is very much worth it, so. Here we go. I'm going to absolutely have to pull my hair back for this one because otherwise it's gonna get covered in grease. Now this face routine is uh, its very over the top. It's very extra, but apparently it results in the most flawless looking skin all day. So we will do a full day wear test on this and just see if that's actually the case, but it is complex. There are a lot of steps in here. I have to write it out and still I'll probably mess it up in some way. But the first step in this process is to put on your moisturizer. I usually I let it like sink in for a while, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So we're going to put that on. I do have a serum on like a vitamin C serum. This Step one, done. Next up is applying a rose hip oil. I'm using the Sage True Dew Face Oil, which has rose hip oil in it. A bunch of other stuff too, like avocado oil. I'm supposed to look super greasy. Greasy, glowy, really over the top. We want to shine. I don't look very shiny, but I feel shiny. I'm gonna give this a minute to like sink in a bit. All right. This is like set a little bit, I think. So now we're going on to putty primer. I chose the Luminous putty primer. They didn't say one way or another, but they did say the e.l.f. putty primer. So I'm gonna go with this one because the next step is illuminating. Illuminating, illuminating, illuminating. Okay, so basically like just in this area. Now we wanna add, what do they call it? a cream highlighter all over the face. I feel like this step reminds me of, I think Huda Beauty does this a lot. So I feel like it's only appropriate to use her product. <laughs> Pretty sure she's the first one I saw that did this. Oh, I have to shake this very well. Like how I'm doing this over my carpet with no lid. I'm so brave. Okay, here we go. All over the face. <sighs> okay, oh, it smells nice. If I wasn't shiny before. <laughs> the look we are serving here right now is immaculate. I am radiant. <laughs> Get the excess and put it on my shoulders. This is what should be shiny. <laughs> okay, what's next? I think we're on step five, which is peach under eye corrector. I have two that are my personal favorites. One is by Wet n Wild. It is their peach dark circle crack this guy the cushion and the other one is very responsive this one is the high precision retouch i feel like this doesn't exist anymore i feel like i talked about this and then i looked it up and i was like they don't have it they don't have it anymore but i could be wrong if i'm wrong i it's really good <laughs> so today we will use the wet and wild one really don't know how much to put on so i don't know this feels good okay now now we do foundation. I just realized in doing this, I'm gonna interrupt this sequence with another hack shortly. I'm using the Ama Beauty one. It's like a new favorite. I like it a lot. It looks a wee bit light though. I'm gonna add some pure four in one love your selfie, which PS, thank you everyone that pointed out that Rock Christie Beauty also loves this foundation. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. Okay massaging it into the palm of my hand so that it doesn't get absorbed into the back of my hand because no pores. But you can see it's diluting a bit of that um, glow. <laughs> Feels like a bit of a stretch to just call it a glow. The bedazzled lightning bolt that is my face feels a little bit less bedazzled. All right, next is concealer. I'm trying to apply the bare minimum. Okay, quick check-in. It feels quite oily because I did apply an oil to my skin, so my skin feels very hydrated, but I have a lot of things on my face, which you would expect, so. 
Anyway, let's continue. Oh, this is, okay, this is the part where we're interrupting this process. Well, kind of continuing it, but layering on a, a really interesting hack that I saw on TikTok. It's not really a hack in so much that it's a filter that shows you the proper place for what they call contour. Now I watched Rosenben on TikTok and she used it and she was like, this isn't where you put contour, contour is more gray. This is where you put bronzer because you'll see in a second, I'm gonna like screen record my phone. It's recommending applying the product a lot higher up than you think. But everyone seems to come away with it being like, my skin, it's like lifted. I have like a facelift with makeup. But first I need to wash my hands. Wow. I just washed up a full bottle of foundation off my hands. But now let's pull the app that's going to show you with like these markers basically where you should be applying your product. So I'm gonna scooch myself over this way <laughs> and I'm gonna have my phone up here so you can see what I can see. All right, can everyone, everyone can see this now? Okay, so it like marks off my face and it says in this area right here is where I should be applying my my contour or in, I guess bronzer contour does not go up that high I think this is really cool though there's another one of these that we're gonna test out later I'm a little nervous about that one because people have been shaving off their brows for it but basically I'm just gonna take a product and kind of like in that area and going along with the previous I'm, I'm doing cream contour which is the next step but in this case we're making a cream bronzer mostly because I don't like contour I think it looks ridiculous on me. All right, so assessing, and it looks like right there. That does feel really high. Like everyone always does this and they're like, yeah, it feels like super high in the face. And I'm like, it uh, looks good though. But like stamping it on, I'm like, this is the top of my cheekbone. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right here, and then, eh, like that. Might have done it a little too high here, oops. Like there. Okay, you want it there, all right. And on this side, you want it here. I can't see if I'm applying any product, by the way. Oh, it seems I have, <laughs> it's all like blue. All the way to here, but mostly in this area. Okay, now I guess we just have to like blend it in. Like this is this is my cheekbone and it, and it goes to here. Let me get like fingerprints on my face. I have so much product on. What do we think so far? Am I getting like a good face lift? I'm just gonna like soften it a bit. Why is it all blue? Well, I had to fix this side a bit. And in doing so, and in looking at it on here, this side is now way too low. So now I have to fix that. Just gonna use a little bit of foundation. Remove all the spot it's not supposed to be in. Bronzer needs to be up here, folks. Okay, that feels like ridiculous placement, right? Like I'm not crazy on this, right? This, that, that, that does not look good on me. I feel like it's too high on my face. I don't like it. I don't like that particular filter. Okay, now I'm skeptical. It looks so good on everyone else. Unless they're all lying to me. No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that to me. Is there also a spot for blush placement? I would assume just like right above that. That's the next step. Not recording this part because I'm lazy, but you you know I'm telling the truth. It's like right up here, that is above it. And on this side, oh, that is really high. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to make of this. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna roll. With, what is that on my face? Did anyone see that? Some weird blue thing is happening. Oh, I'm gonna tell you for free. This does not look good up close. Please hold while I attempt to fix this fallout situation that I didn't know was existing. Okay, I mostly fixed it. I still have these like little spots here. I don't know what it is. Let me know if you know, but like I have had this for the last like two months. Nothing seems to cover it. I don't know what is happening here, um, but it's always this particular area. So uh, I'm not gonna blame this on the routine. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Cause it's driving me crazy. We're gonna just keep trying to cover it, even though I know it's just, it's not. <sighs> So that looks horrendous. This looks horrendous on me. Look how, look how high up that is. It's ridiculous. Anyway, going back to the original hack, they said to put blush in the center of the forehead. Lots of blush, lots of blush. And then on the nose. Oh my gosh, that's too much. That's too much blush. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Oh my gosh. This is just not it today. It's driving me insane. Can you tell? Can you tell? Oh no, I Anyway, let's continue. Nope, I'm not gonna continue. This is not cute. Like, this side is better, right? No, this side is too high. This side I don't like either. Okay, all right. 
We've decided, no, this is not for us. <laughs> but we are gonna continue with the original hack. Okay, now we're going into setting powder. So I'm gonna use this one from ColourPop. I feel like I'm gonna need to set this fairly aggressively or it will end up everywhere. I'm really excited to look at this. <laughs> in a close-up mirror with you. You know what is actually a really good bronzer hack that I came across and I just like tested it without putting it in the video? Is um, dotting, this is, this is a good one, dotting your bronzing stick and putting it, like find the end of your cheekbone. Maya's like right in the ear, so right there. Press on it so it like has a little indent and then you put a little dot like right there. That's it. And then one on the other side. I know it doesn't look like anything yet, but wait. And then you just blend it up and away. This creates this like nice lifted appearance. It gives a little bit of like a, like a contour kind of effect and it looks so natural. It's really pretty. I'm hoping it comes across in this video because everything else that's layered with it, uh, they're like nothing's playing nice together right now. Oh, now I got I got more streaks. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This, this isn't it. Do you see, do you see this? Look at this, what, like what, so mad. I don't know if we can save this. I have to try, we have to try. It's just, it's too much. And, and I know I just layered more product on top. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I want, I was really excited about the hack. Let's just, I mean, not even let's. Can you please just pretend that that looks good for me, please? I can't ignore it. So one of us needs to. Okay, now we're gonna set this monstrosity with powder bronzer and blush. Okay, now I'm gonna use a much smaller brush for blush up here, right up near my eye. <laughs> of course, of course, I want a pink nose. Rachel, the pink nose. YouTuber. <laughs> Do a lighter hand in the center. Light hand, Rachel. Nope. Okay, is that <laughs> less obvious? Okay, now what? Okay, now. <laughs> because we haven't applied enough hydrating products, we need to do a hydrating mist. No, it's not a setting spray, a hydrating mist. So I'm gonna use this one from Pharmacy. It says hydrating and mist, so I'm gonna use it. Oh, it also says setting spray. Oh, good for me. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just garden hose. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, oh, it's still not great. Still not great. It smells nice though. Okay, you're gonna stay calm. You're gonna stay collected. We are not gonna cry. <laughs> and now you might be thinking, oh, but Rachel, you're done. No, no, I'm not. No, I am not. Now we let this dry and then we put more powder on top. Anywhere that you have like a texture, you wanna put powder on. I'm gonna be honest, everywhere looks like I have texture because I have so much on my face. I mean, that does do a good job at like, making my pores less noticeable though. Like applying some sort of a setting spray or a hydrating mist and then the powder on top that really does like make it look really seamless. Like I feel like we can skip all the rest of it then. If the, if, like is that the magic part of it? That's it? Well then why did I do the rest of that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, calmed myself. Christopher made me noodles. And now I'm ready for the next filter. And this one is for the brows. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna show you right here. You can see what it looks like. All right, so you can see, you can also see my atrocious job with my makeup. Like, look at that. Anyway, so basically with this, it shows you where your brows should start, where the arch should be, and where the end should be. Now, what I've noted a lot of people doing with this is that, <laughs> they're like shaving off the end of their brows. Now that's great if you want more of like a straighter look. So what people will do, see how mine is like below? So people have been extending it out to that point instead of going below. I haven't decided what I wanna do with that cause like now seeing it, that's a, that's, a, that's a lot of shaving. I don't know if I want, I don't know. Let's do the part that we know we can do together. So you want me to have my brows start to like get really close, right? Right there, okay? And right there. It's gonna look so bad when I see it. Brow arch, oh, that's not far off from my arch. There, okay. And on this side, arch. 
That feels really high. Uh, okay. Um, I'm on it, right? That, that looks like it's on it, but it's like a millimeter above my brow. I'm scared. Okay. And then I'm basically gonna, yeah, like it's ending within the triangle. Like if I ended it here, where the point, whoa, where the point is, it keeps moving on me. They want my brow to go here. And then on the same thing on the side, whoa, perspective. It's, it's a wild, wild world out there. Okay. All right. Let's look at this, shall we? Okay. What do we have here today? So this is telling me that I need to start my brow a lot <laughs> say earlier. Soon, that's the same thing, Rachel. In more on this side, and then the arch, like right in line there. What it's telling me on this side is that my brows are uneven and that this side needs to be a lot higher. And it wants my brow, like my real life brow, to go out to here. I would literally be shaving off the very tail end, like the, the whole part of my brow. <laughs> this filter just said, your brows are not it. I am adventurous, but I don't think I'm that adventurous. I brought out the thing too, just in case, like in case we needed to like shave off a little bit, but that's not, that's not a little bit. That's like a whole brow right there. That's the owl part of the brow. <laughs> just not, not willing to go there today. However, we will fill in the rest of this brow situation. Let's brush these brows into place. And then um, just see. Oh, does it show? I'm curious. Does it show where the brow should like, does, is that where they want it to start though? Okay, hold on. So see in the previous footage over here, how it has like a line at the bottom. So I'm gonna try and like draw that line too. It looks so good. Magnificent. That's lined up, but um, it's also showing me that it's a little uneven. Well, hold on. This is all over the place. You gotta go really close up with this one. Going close up, it seems like it's like a little bit higher so up here. So now we need to brush, brush the brows. We wanna get it to that little archy place. We're reaching for the stars, which is this. It's not gonna happen. All right, let me finish up these brows and see what we come up with. I look so good though. So let's just leave it like this, done. Oh my gosh, TikTok. TikTok, no. So I wanna say on record that this is usually my easy brow. This is the brow that just like makes a beautiful fluffy brow. Have you ever heard of like dandelion children versus orchid children? This is like a thing that like my sister and I are currently discussing of like which of our children are which. Dandelion children, or this brow, just like super flexible. They can grow anywhere, just super easy going. It's the majority of children. Then you have the orchid children. Now with orchid children, doesn't matter how hard you try to parent, they'll make you cry. If you don't line up exactly when they need water and exactly when they need love and attention and light and all the, I'm mixing up metaphors here, they will make sure that your life is miserable. Uh. But this is all to say that this is my orchid brow. This is the one that always needs a little extra work. It just doesn't line up nicely. I need to add more underneath to make them the same size. But today, today they are switched. That was a really long thing to say about a brow, but now you know more, more about my life. So this one felt like reasonably easy going. I kind of like lined up where the arch was and then I like fluffed it in and then I added a lot more in. And I, I actually, honestly, I think that looks a lot better than how I normally would do my brow. However, on this side, also worth noting, I feel like this looks a little like floppy. I don't like it. it feels very straight, but uh, we're gonna go with it. I wanna add, maybe I'm wrong. This Maybe this is my orchid brow. Do I have two orchid, no, we're not gonna go there. Nope. Not saying that into existence. Easy brow, easy brow, easy brow, easy brow. All right, anyway, this brow, however, because the arch was really high and like, I don't, I have like a little bit of a gap here. And then the app itself was like lining them up unevenly. So I'd like fill it in and then I'd look in a mirror and I'm like, oh, those are not even at all. And even now looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, are they even though? And then the brow ends are just like way off versus what I normally have. So let me know what you think. Like, is this an improvement on my brows? Do you like it more? I wanna know. I also added a lip that was unrelated to anything though. Um, I just added it because I wanted to. It's actually a really good pencil in case you ever come across it. It's the uh, NYX lip product in nude suede shoes. It's really pretty. And then I put a little of my favorite Rare Beauty on top because I always do. <laughs> so other than the disaster that is the uh, bronzer and blush situation. 
how do we feel about my face right now? Do we like it? Do we not like it? Please let me know. I will do a close up of my skin as well so you can kind of see it. Again, it looks a little bit more airbrushed, but it does feel and look like I have a lot of product on my face, which I'm not a huge fan of right now. However, other than this whole thing right here, it looks great. But now I wanna do another hack, but for that we need to go to my bathroom because it's about self tanner. And as much as I do shake a lot of like foundation products all over my carpet, I will not do self tanner over here. I just feel weird about saying like, hey, come to the bathroom with me. <laughs> but here we are, let us self tan. And we're gonna self tan my legs today because um, whether you believe it or not, I have self tanner on right now. Probably doesn't look like it, but um, I do. Wait till you see my legs though. Are they legs or are they those white lines that run down the middle of the road? And for this hack, we are actually going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because it is not summertime yet. So I look at the mounds of snow outside. And so I feel like for the sake of self-tanning science, we need to sacrifice my legs for this experiment. And so I'm gonna do one leg like I normally would, just using one of these, I have to go down and get it drop things apparently. One of these tanning mitts. I use these all the time. This is Loving Tans, they're my favorite one. And then on the other one, we are going to use just regular like latex or non-latex gloves. Because apparently, because the gloves aren't going to absorb any of the product, it's all going to go onto your body and you're gonna get the richest, most beautiful tan. And so I'm really interested to see what it looks like side by side and you can let me know if you have a preference. All right, here they are. Ta-da! So this is the shade they are now. And for context, this is my arm. <laughs> it looks aggressively different. Oh. So I'm gonna be using a combination of the Loving Tan and the Coco and Eve because I find this one to be super, super yellow, but I like the scent of it and it's hydrating. And so I mixed the two of them because I have this now. So we're gonna do this leg the normal way. And then mush it together. Mush, mush, mush. And if you think for one second I'm putting my feet on the internet, you got another thing coming. I'm just applying it. Normal way. I have shorts on, by the way. <laughs> and there's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now let's try it with the glove. I'm already regretting using this much, which is what I just automatically do for the, the mousse with the mitt. Oh no, all right. Now remember, I'm going to actually blend it with two hands, but I'm holding a camera, so um, bear with me. Blend these bad boys. <gasps> oh, this is going to be really tricky. Okay, I, I need to go even further down my leg. Oh no, now it looks like I just rolled in mud. Okay, uh, I need the other hand now. Okay, I'm back. You certainly do get more of your leg or whatever body part you're using with less product, obviously, because it's not absorbing any. But in the video, they looked very different in terms of the, the final product. So I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna see how it dries and we'll see in like an hour if they look any different. But right now they look identical. I use maybe a little bit less product than usual, but like not a significant amount. And I found it to be way easier to blend out with the mitt than it was with the gloves because there's, there's nothing to like, I guess, minimize any streaking. So you basically have to keep rubbing it until it's dry and you just hope that it's not streaky. So, I mean, we'll see. Let's see how this develops in the next hour. Okay, I have actually a dipsy here. A dipsy. You have to tell me what you think of my makeup because I have 200 products on my face. <laughs> not, not actually, but like it feels like it. Okay, so I'm guessing how many? No, just tell me if it looks good. Oh. Just not this and not this. Okay. But otherwise, tell me if what my makeup looks like. Uh, it looks a little cakey. Yes. A little cakey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I have no beef with the brows. Brows look nice. Brows look nice? Okay, okay. Um, the eyeshadow? Is... I didn't do anything with the eyeshadow. Don't, don't oh. talk about my eyeshadow. <laughs> It's so good. Oh, thank you, I thought so. <laughs> it looks cakey, like it yeah. just, it's so much product, it's too much. Is it like skincare primer and then a lot of face stuff? It was like a whole, like, okay, so rosehip oil, then you had to do like the full, you know, the Huda Beauty? Yes. The highlighter <laughs> all over the face? Of course. Foundation, peach corrector, then concealer, then all the cream contouring products. Right. And then the powders. But then, then you're not done yet. Then you put on a hydrating mist 
and then you okay. powder again. I feel like that would look phenomenal in studio lighting, end of list. It would look good for one video. And then I feel like this by end of day would just look terrible. Like this isn't even like a good going to an event makeup. No. It feels heavy. I don't Maybe don't in like the it. evening under ambient light, but. <laughs> Maybe if you're under 20 and you just want to experiment with like putting a bunch of stuff on, but like I need I to just get into the club. Get in the club. So yeah, no, it's not, uh, not my scene. Nope. 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 All right, update. I forgot to update on the self tan, so we're gonna do that first. <laughs> Interestingly, I feel like one is actually mildly dark. Is that just me? <laughs> Am I just making this up? Ignore my knees, they just hate self tanner. Interesting, do you have a preference? Do you like one more than the other? I still think I will still use my mitt just because I think it, like the whole process is a lot easier. And then the makeup. I genuinely don't know why I still have this on my face. I should have taken it off hours ago. It just looks so bad. <laughs> However, I am curious about the bronzer and blush. I think I'm gonna try it again, but without all the other stuff that all off. So this was um, not great. If you have any other hacks that we should try, leave me a comment down below because I would love to try them because I just apparently can't get enough. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. We have done a lot of beauty hacks. The beauty hacks, a lot of TikTok, a lot of Instagram, a lot of gems. Um, <laughs> Uncut jams. Sorry, I had to do it. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys all next week.